Hello YouTube, it's Tony. Welcome to episode 2 of my hardcore race challenge to killing QBD. In my previous episode, I've explained the rules so I'm not going to repeat this again. At the time of this recording, I am almost fully recovered from my rune flu which happened after Runefest. I know it is taking longer than usual and the biggest issue right now is my throat. In this episode, I'm hoping to get a few key levels and hopefully get as many quests done as possible just to get 150 quest points. And so the first quest we complete is the Restless Ghost which means we get prayer XP and a lot of ancient bones which you cannot offer to the altar and let's see what we get. 200 XP each and oh my goodness 30 prayer off of this. Yeah well that's one of the requirements for land with goblins. I still need to get 40 prayer though unfortunately which is for protect missiles. Alright, so I'm just going to accept the Dragon Slayer quest, even though I'm not going to do it right now. And the big reason is because I want the Anti-Dragon Shield. Now what I'm going to use that Anti-Dragon Shield isn't for QBD, but rather for getting one Dragon Bone. And yeah, for the Dragon Bones, this is used for the Watchtower quest. Okay, good. At least I got the Anti-Dragon Shield, so now I need to get a wand. Okay, so this is my first time stepping in the wilderness. Oh my god. This is the only place I can fight green dragons at. Oh, thank goodness, there we go. I got my very first dragon bones on this account. I'm trying to get 25 thieving so I can do the dig site quest, which will give you quite a bit of herb lore XP, but most importantly will give you a lot of money XP. Okay, so I did get the magical dice tier 1, and I'm just going to reroll it, so... 250k plus a fortunate component item. Oh, and speaking of hardcore Iron Man mode, I better buy a Jar of Divine Light, even though I'm probably not going to make an efficient hardcore Iron Man series, but let's see, 100k for this. Yep. There we go. I spent it on that, and also, while we're at it, I'm just going to ask him to skull me, okay? So yeah, skull me, because this is part of the wilderness tasks. And another quest complete, which means 23 thieving from doing this. Alright, so that is 25 thieving, which means now I have all the requirements for the dig site quest. Oh my goodness, third try and we get an ancient talisman, wow. And there it is, I just completed that quest, which means I get some herbler XP, but oh my goodness, this many mining levels. I've gained 12 mining levels off of this, and I'm level 20 herbler as well. Which is one of the requirements for one small favor. Anyways, so I'm oh oh and by the way, I'm also 500 total level as well. Again, not that total level matters, but still. Oh yes, I get a free antique lamp for completing one of those quests, and that will give me herbal XP. Another quest complete, which means let's see if I get any prayer levels. That's one prayer level from, from doing this. So I noticed one of my competitors named Careful Tam, he actually died even on full manual with a tier 75 weapon. So because of this, I'm kind of doubtful whether I should go with a tier 60 or going for a tier 75 weapon. I mean, he had one day and eight hours. And for me, I think I'm probably at like 12 hours or something like that with 55 quest points. Level 19 crafting, nice. Well... I'm trying to get level 20 for the Shades of Morton quest, which will give me more herbal XP. Oh, and by the way, I also get a Strength Lamp, which is completely random, and... Nope, we're 24 XP away from this, and 27. <laughs> Holy Jesus, no, 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 it looks like I'm gonna die from this. Oh, okay, I need to cook this, I need to absolutely start cooking these. Oh, jeez, okay. Okay, no, you can't save spot this, I am dead, I am so dead. Okay, I gotta get the hell out of here. Holy Jesus, another close death. Oh. Oh. And there we have it, level 30 Herbler, which means, yes, I have all the level requirements for the Evil Dave's Big Day Out quest. Yeah, unfortunately, I still haven't done any quests leading up to that. Nice, there we go. Silver Light quest complete, and, you know, I'm just gonna rub it on range just because I don't, it doesn't really matter what I rub it on anyways. It's 
Oh my goodness, thank goodness, there we go, the cat has grown, I mean the kitten has grown to a cat. I get 30 crafting off of this, and I have all the requirements for the Shadow of the Storm, and wow, there are so many quests I unlock from this. Now I get to unequip Dark Light, and I'm gonna choose, yeah, well, I'm going all out of magic, so there we go, I completed this quest, which means I get 42 magic off of this. And there you have it, I just completed this quest, which means I can access the Evil Dave's Big DL quest. Yeah, so this took a while because of the stupid puzzle, man. <laughs> so yeah, let's start this quest, and let's see how long this is going to take me to do this. And oh my goodness, there we go, finally we've completed the Big Dave, Evil Dave's Big DL quest, finally! Holy Jesus, this has been long prep preparing, and look at all these rewards, let's, let's rub everything, rub... Cooking XP, Agility, Herb Lore, and look at that, Magic XP, we are 49 Magic from this, holy Jesus, look, look at all these levels flying through the roof. Okay, I gotta hide this familiar option or else I would die like my crew, so let's click this, and there we go. I should be safe from my Terror Bird. Quest is complete, and I have 74 quest points. Let's see, rub the fishing lamp. Am I watching a guy for this quest? No, I'm actually, yeah, I'm on RS Wiki for this. Okay, cooking lamp. There we go. Combat lamp. Summoning. Three, two, one. Look at this. 28 summoning from this, y'all. Look at that. 28 summoning in one lamp. This is why I saved up for this quest. Oh cool, Black Play Body G, not bad. That's a free fortunate, but at least we do get quite a bit of GP from this. This is late at night, so hopefully we shouldn't get any PKers. Okay, let's see, a PKer hops world. Okay, so it says there's an error transferring world, so... You can't transfer worlds like this, but what if I went to one of my friends here? Nope. You need to wait a couple of seconds, so yeah, it is pretty dangerous if a PKer shows up right now. If the only way to get out of this is just drop it like this. Okay, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Let's go in the wilderness and please... Oh, this is going to be nervous. This is why I decided not to do it on stream because if I did on stream, I'd be dead. Oh my god, why is the success rate so low when it comes to getting the memories? Holy Jesus. Uh-oh. Look. It's not getting one every single harvest. Finally, 50 cursed memories. Alright, hopefully I can make it out safely now that nobody else can attack me above a certain combat level. Alright, so I got the second last task done for the wilderness, and yeah, the next one should be easier. Now, even though this one took longer to do, well, slightly longer to do, I would say it's not as nerve-wracking because there's almost no PKer here. So I just completed this quest, and... Wow, I love the Christmas theme of this. It's too bad it's not Christmas right now. But anyways, let's rub this, and hopefully we should get 30 summoning so I can use those lamps. One, two, and three. There we go, yes, that is actually 30 summoning from doing this. Wilderness Sword 1 is actually a better emergency bank teleport, and yeah, let's rub these on, a, on summoning. One, and two. Wow, nine summoning levels from this. Yeah, look at all these unlocks, but I think summoning is going to be a big challenge down the road still. Okay, this is really, really dangerous. This is really, really dangerous. I can't even... Holy Jesus, yo. Are you serious? Edgeville teleport doesn't teleport you instantly while it providing you immunity? I want to see if bandits are actually better XP per hour than, you know, the Abyss. Alright, so I am kind of running out of food, and the best way to get food for low levels would have been to steal these cake stalls. Let me see. Yep. It should be somewhere here. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Yep. I don't know how long that trip was, but it's definitely longer than having salmons or trout in your inventory. And not to mention expensive spices will give you 50 more HP 
for every cake you eat. So that is pretty nice. 55 magic, which means, of course, I can start High Alking. What do we get for 30 Thieving? The Troll Stronghold quest. That's awesome. And yes, there we go. 60 magic, finally. That means I can access Guthix staff. Yep, there's no reason to be here anymore until I get Guthix staff, and I'm probably going to do the rest from Abyss, though. Gonna rub them both on summoning. So one and two, and let's see what we get. 43 summoning, nice. Okay, this is gonna be another risky thing for me to do. I, I gotta kill these blue dragons, okay? Like, I need these dragon bones so I can offer this to the Chaos Altar because the other method, which was Nexus, really does suck. So let's see how long this is gonna take me, and please, no PKers, man. Actually, on a second thought, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to kill this guy even without protect magic, okay? Yes, I'm gonna be ready to kill him. Oh my god. Oh yes, I actually did it. Oh, apparently this 128 guy is just here for some reason. I don't know what's he doing, but whatever it is. And there it is, Guthic Staff right here. Nice. 37 prayer, which means, yes, I can start protecting from magic. Now the thing is, what I'm planning to do is go back to those dragons and kill them using my Guthic Staff because with protect magic, I don't think I need the anti-dragon shield. Wow, all I did was just activate protect from magic and they give me a free prayer potion. 40 prayer, which means I can finally protect from mage and I thought I'd get... I mean, range. But I thought I'd get like 69 combat, which would have been funny, still. See, that was actually really fast. If you use a one and orb, it's just so amazingly fast. You see that? It wasn't even five minutes and I got this. Oh my god, even at these levels, Abyss is actually really overpowered, but obviously I'm getting hit really, really hard here. I gotta be careful because cakes aren't gonna heal enough per hit. Yeah, through one trip, I got 69 combat and 47 HP. Oh, and 61 magic as well, so yeah. This is actually pretty decent, even if I can't really survive here. The only thing that I'm really risking is the fact that since detonate requires 50% adrenaline, I have to make sure I build up there, but if I'm gonna constantly eat, then I probably will never end up getting there. But because they sometimes hit like 500 to 600, I, it's, it's a risk to take whether you want to build it up to every single cooldown or something like that. Yo, that's nice. I got 38 defense in one trip from 32. I'm trying to get 40 defense so I can get the split bark armor because it's definitely going to increase the defense value by a lot. Sorry, I couldn't really get my words together because it's 1.59 a.m. right now. Are you serious? You need 40 crafting just for him to craft this for you? I don't get it. He's the one that's crafting it for me, not me. Yeah, well, looks like I'm probably going to have to train my defense all the way up to, well, the mystic armor instead. Just so you know, Kibium actually did this in 22 hours and 14 minutes. Let me see how many hours I'm at right now. Let's see, I've been patrolling this. Oh my god. Yeah, I understand I lost this challenge. At the same time, I don't want to quit this. I still want to see where, my, where I rank among all these other people. You know, for other creators out here who have actually passed 22 hours and 14 minutes, don't feel discouraged because it's better to make it on the board than just, you know, forfeit. With all that being said, thank you for watching, and I hope I see you next episode.